weird bubble. Welcome back to the bubble, ladies and gentlemen, and Divide and Conquer version 5 and our Easterlings of Rune campaign. This is going quite well. I'm recording this episode right after I recorded the uh, other one, I think the 13th one. Because I thought about going like grocery shopping, but the prices of groceries have increased with a ridiculous amount. So I kind of rather wanted to play another round of um, of uh, Divine and Conquer, to be honest. But in the last episode, I think this is going to be released on the 5th. So um, the last episode of the 3rd third of April, we took uh, Bur Southis, gave it to Dol Guldur, because we're trying to just make more and more of a barrier between ourselves and the, uh, and the Doom stack. Because now we only have one region left for Dorwinion, that's Dor Norhak. And I will be plowing this army down south to lay siege to that old bird. And we also lay siege to Burialji, which I plan on sieging for quite a while, actually. We also start laying siege to the city of Dale. So uh, we are pushing quite hard, battle. I must say, on Dale. Speaking of pushing hard on Dale, we took Kondovan as well. And we uh, actually suffered quite a few casualties doing it. So I'm a bit hesitant moving on to Burmalinge, but I still think I actually How may I still think I maybe should order. do that. So I think I will do that right away, actually. Don't take many of these really depleted units. Don't need to take cavalry either, to be honest. Will, my lord. Actually, one thing we orders. could do, really stupid most likely, but we still could. We will play siege with cavalry, the and then... We can start sending some units up to reinforce them. Kondovan is a bit uh, pissed with me right now because I uh, killed their garrison, etc. And I think we also have a big culture problem on our hands. Yeah, Northmen, 70%. That's gonna take care of itself when we get the Dark Sanctuary, though. But it's gonna take a while if I want to grow this bad boy. Thinking the militia garrison might be a good idea after all. But yeah, so now we lay siege to that one, and we also have a big ass stack here that I'm thinking. First of all, attack this dwarven army, because I think we should be able to outmaneuver them, and then start pushing on Erebor with that army. Either going through uh, Skarn, which I think is just a village, so I'm not that threatened by that one, or pushing straight up to Kirikathal, which is somewhere around here. Uh, which is, of course, a pretty signific significant Erebor um, um, city. I don't think it's a stronghold. I think it's a city. Right. And I also How see I that we have even more orders. units that we can send on our way. Because we are filling up the orders. boats. Not really filling it up. But we are putting a lot of units on the boats. Just sending them up north. Because I think this is going to be a shit fest of a region. And so... Orders. While sailing, I'll be picking up reinforcements from like the nearby forts and Ilanin, etc. All the way while I um, sail. So, you, I want you to go back here. I do still have a lot of units here, but I do also believe that we have exhausted all the movement points that I wanted to use. You How may I get into the orders. fort for now, please. You as I well, serve? maybe. Orders. Get into the fort, free upkeep, Kazam. And you can't reach it, anyway. So we really need to kill that warman army to take care of that. Sieging. My eyes are yours. Really hope there's not a big ass Dale army here. This is such a stupid risk, actually. <laughs> but sometimes you just gotta risk it, you know? And we will be sieging Burialje for quite a while more. And I think Order. these reinforcements I'd rather just send to the fort and just keep pushing north the scenic route. Yes. And just like that, I think I'm ready. We also got the first dragon relic from here, Orders. which is awesome. Orders. Course set. So eventually I should be having like an armor made Orders. out of dragon scales, which would be awesome. 
We're also spending a lot of money on uh, army upkeep, obviously, but also in um, construction of military buildings. Might be a really dumb idea, but I started constructing a road for like 3.9k, six turns in Lest, and hopefully it's going to pay, uh, pay back eventually. Nazgul returned to Dol Guldur, that's great, that's even more units for our bros up there, up in the north. You start moving to Viltur first of all, and can't really send the general anywhere without them being super pissed. After the land clearance we start with the Dark Sanctuary and then Meeting Hall I guess. Dirt paths would be great as well, just a whole bunch of basic buildings. We need them to be happy. We want them to be happy because we care about them. You keep pushing. And let's see. You have room for three more units. You I want out of there. And you and you can get in there instead. Now. 152, 152. How may I serve orders? This is just a whole bunch of scraps, really. Merge. Up together. And you. Orders. And you. No. Nope. You can't merge with them, can you? Okay, serve. you can't merge. But I misclicked. Oh my god. Oh my god. Merge with them. Okay, now it happened. Oh, what? What's happening with the clickety clicks? And now a whole bunch of scraps as well, but I think it's better than what it was before at least. The Privateer Cavalry can join up with them, I just saw that. Diplomat. Keep moving north because I need to see if anyone's coming this way. He's just perfect vision over this little path. Which is great. Boat. Where are you, boat? There you are, boat. So, actually, it would be fun to send even more... All these reinforcements to this side and just keep on burning this part of Dale to the absolute ground. How is it looking with money? We're still making money, which is great. So you can jump into the boats. Boats, boats, boats. And you move up there. Ilanin, you have some units we can throw in. Fort. Uh, might as well keep you there for now, actually. But now we are starting to get a sizable army in this boat. You join up with them. Swell. Can we get any mercenaries in this region? No, we freaking can not. We can retrain you. Build a militia garrison. Why not? Just to make them a bit happier, I guess. Everything to make you happy. Who cares what makes me happy? No one. Oh, damn. This is not good. I lost sight of... Setting a watch here. The Edibor army. I think they started moving back north. Or they moved down south here. Which in that case is not great. To be honest. Not great at all. But. Yes, noble master. Let's keep moving yes. anyway. Mercenaries. Yes please. Fodder mercenaries. Great stuff. Okay. We might actually. You have some units there but. I'm thinking, if I take Kirigathol, does that mean that they will just start bugging out like crazy and won't know what to do and won't attack me at all anymore? If so, that would be pretty, pretty great. This will be an honorable battle, noble one. Right, we are recruiting some here. The spy need you to keep moving up here, actually. Elgeir. Maybe I first of all should take a look at what I'm actually what I've actually done. End of turn report, money, green, noise. Faction announcement, new family members. We are breeding. Beautiful. Strondos, you got a great haul. Now I'm thinking what would be the next good thing. Oh, we can recruit so many fun stuff here. But we need the Hmm. In order to get the next barrack. Oh, we are too small, but we need to grow, which means that this would be a good opportunity to start going like sheep farming, for example. I think that should give us some money as well. And then, Elgeir, 
You start with the barracks, beautiful stuff. Bull Hermanarikis, chicken farming, beautiful. Now I'm thinking brothel on you, to be honest. Thinking brothel. Should I think leather tanner? Maybe. You make the same amount of money. Carvarad started with the market, which is just swell. Viltur, you got the grain exchange. I'm very happy about that. Starting with land clearance, then with dark uh, sanctuary, meeting hall. Just good stuff all around. On Dovan, you got the dark sanctuary, then militia garrison. Sweet! Now we have 1,000 units of currency left in our pockets. How may I which begs the question, can I get mercenaries? No. And I, really, this is just such a ragtag group of units, really. Well, let's just hope that we won't get attacked yet. By, uh, How may I serve by Erebor. Orders. And you keep sieging. Yes, my master. You are where I want you. Noble one. And we need to see how we can Order. merge these units up. Really? How may I serve? Yes. Oh, this is not good. These Order. small, pretty how insignificant groups. Your will, my lord. Might as well take you out, send you in, and then I guess send you to anywhere where you can be retrained. Let's just send you back to our... Actually, no. Because we have a whole bunch of scraps going all the way up towards Esgaroth. Let's keep them there. And you can get some reinforcements. Looks like... Oh... God, you do have some scraps here as well, don't you? Orders. Some of you, some of... And hmm, you and How you, and... Orders. Do you have a lot of archers in this How army? You actually do, you have one, two, three, four, five, blah, 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 blah. So many I forget how to count, efficiently. Orders. You can merge up though, you can merge up. Let's just throw How you in here, shall we? Orders. We march! Okay, first of all, you. Orders. As you will. Then you merge. And then you. And then merge. 19. Great stuff. I think this should be a good enough force. And we could actually just lift the siege and attack. If we attack now, I suppose they get a shonky. A big... Come on. A big garrison. This force. Yeah, three. And they also get some reinforcements as well. What do you got? Can't even see that. Okay, even more cavalry and pikemen. You get just general. So I'm thinking. If I should just break the How siege and attack the dwarven family member, maybe even the Dalian army. Let's give it a shot. Okay, you, you pull back from there. The a most and now they siege Orders. again. Everyone just pull back. We so we accomplished nothing. We shall end this day However, one thing we could accomplish Noble is killing a dwarven family, family member because you've already moved. Durin's guard. I mean... Of course we should try, right? I will need you, I will need you, and you. Come on. Let's do it like this. See what happens. They fight the battle on the map, and hopefully they'll have enough movement points to move back to base. That would be swell. And also, very much like to take Dale in an... Uh, in a uh, field battle than in a siege battle because I believe their towers would absolutely butcher us. There we go. Archers. Start the battle. Where is he? Where is it red? Okay, over there. Don't think he's moving towards me, right? Moving up. And most likely it's going to be the Privateer Axeman is going to have to do the really heavy lifting. I mean, he's hiding behind trees. 
That's not dignified. This is a good spot because from here we can see him. Which is great. These kind of battles I like, depending on if we win or not. Um, it would be very nice if we can kill a Dwarven uh, General, maybe even. I don't think it's a family member, but it's a General. Uh, I think that would be just great if we could do that here. And absolutely, of course, without losing too many of our own units. Okay. Don't need to have skirmish mode on. 48. And we are whittling down their armor at least. But you know that dwarves, their armor is thick as crack. So we will not be killing anyone with arrows. I do. I don't think. The javelins, maybe. Just maybe. But at least a lot of them are starting to get bloodied up, and that's what we really want to accomplish. There we go. Great work. It actually looked like they had a decent aim, which is just swell. Now you ma run up, you will be the front, you will be the back, and then we'll be attacking from all kinds of directions. Oh, we actually killed one! Damn! You keep moving up, and you keep moving up to just circle them in. I want you as close as possible to make sure that you actually hit something. There we go. You get around the side. We need to start blowing as many horns as possible here. And we are dying quickly to the Erebor, uh, to the During Guard. Damn. 42, 41, 40, now oh, get in here, and let's throw you in as well just for the shit of it, 31, oh damn, we might actually lose this, victory is well within our enemy are badly bloodied, they have lost half their men. I mean, we are killing them, but not nearly as fast as I would have wanted. This is what happens when you throw absolute trash against a dwarven bodyguard. Damn, they doy. We've lost 36%. But at least we won. Otherwise, it would have been really awkward. Crossbows, I think they should have done an absolutely amazing job at this. This is what they do, you know. And can we engulf this little, this little dude? I wonder if we're gonna heal any. There we go. That's a general death. And no, I don't wanna. Who killed the most? Rovarian hunt, Rovanian hunters, Riveter axemen, good beans. Didn't heal as many as I would have wanted, of course, but at least we cut off the serpent's head, which is good. It would do a lot more damage in a big ass battle than they did in this small one. Just their morale, etc., 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 etc. Enemy camp sacked. Beautiful. Now you get back, you. And we retrain. Oh, we can retrain them. That's awesome. Can't retrain the uh, privateer axemen though. Too bad. I think we need a way station or something, whatever it's called, for that. We need a dark shrine though. Is oh, okay. We only already got the first level, so well, that's good. We have so many good things to get here. But first of all, we need to make sure that it's actually safe. Hence the militia garrison. Great stuff. Great stuff. You are not able to attack this turn. I want you to keep sieging a while, and you start moving down south. For some reason, you have taken out a lot of your army, though. I don't quite understand that, but I guess it's some kind of genius that surpasses me. Uh, okay. 
I think we're all ready. Right. My eyes. 64. Now, still want to get some more levels before we start going crazy. Okay, and there we have another Dalian army. I wonder if they would reinforce if we were to attack Dale. I wonder. Man, it's... The uh, date I'm recording this is the 31st of March, and it's still snowing in Sweden. And I'm even in the, like, really southern side of Sweden, so it doesn't make sense. It should be warmer here. My ears are yours. You get to Bur Kaupis. A lot of Burs around here. And okay, yes. there we have that little bugger. We will engage but we couldn't reach them. And we could have killed a family member. Hot damn. Your will, my lord. Okay, whatever. Whatevs. What are you? A spy. That's great. Keep pushing north, please. And you, what I want with you, you're not free upkeep here, which is it's an absolute travesty. First of all, let's just go through our messages. We spent some money. Oh, a lot of red in the finances. That's not good. New family member. That's why kids are expensive. I've heard. Leather worker in rhubarb and leather tanner at Ilanin. Now, Ilanin. Master Mason's Hall feels like it would be a sound investment here, actually. Let's go with that. Can't retrain anything. Can train a whole bunch of troops, though. And then we will need the leather worker so they have some kind of armor when they are shoved out into the world. You started with communal farming, which I applaud. Great stuff. That's it for construction. Recruitment. Oh, damn. Escaroth retrained a whole bunch of stuff. Elgeir as well, interior. You are recruiting, and that's... Ooh, we can re retrain cell swords. Don't mind if I diddly do, and I hope it's not just an armor upgrade. Rubar, you got some new units as well. I've already seen that, and I don't really know what to do with you, to be honest. I'm thinking, just put you in the fort, where you don't cost any money. How Actually, it would start? be fun to see how many we can kill with the crossbows uh, on the dwarven family member. That would be fun. Okay, so we have 4.8 grand left. And I mean, we could start doing a whole bunch of... Uh, a whole bunch of recruiting, but I... First of all, I want to make sure that we have... That we build this good stuff as possible. Chicken farming. You need 5,000 5, to grow. That's That's something. Warlord's Hall, maybe, so we can start getting new uh, barracks, etc. Might be a good idea. Just might. And we, people will be happier as well. And you know me, I always strive to make people happy. Parasant. Um, <laughs> Great Hall might be a fun idea. Let's go with what makes most money. This doesn't make any doesn't do, didn't make any money at all. This will make some. So let's just get with that program, shall we? Diplomat, don't eat it. Don't eat it, but don't need it either. So you How may I keep shocking up north, please. You Orders. keep we marching march. up north as well. You can we take that fort, please. North. Oh damn, the. Uh... <laughs> Yes, noble master. The uh, doom stack is getting close. I wonder if we're even going to be able to take this in time. My ears are yours. Okay, you need to keep an eye on the doom stack. As you will. This is actually pretty scary because I think they're going to catch up to us. Orders. But hopefully they're going to rather attack some Dolguldorian region. Dolguldorian region, maybe, is the right phrase. I don't know. I don't know these things. And you. If we attack here now, you don't get any... Okay, let's just get with it then. Get with the program. Quick save. Fight battle on the map. Most likely. Um, This will be a tough one. They have Erebor infantry, which can form shield wall and are pretty sturdy because they're dwarves. 
And I mostly just have cavalry in my army. Let's, uh, actually we can start the deployment right away. And we have two sets of... Two sets of rams. Which I'd rather have my infantry hold, actually. And we'll take one there and then one on this side. Let's see if they start running back before we start moving up. Most likely they will just sprint for the square because they only have one unit. Which is great. Move up the cavalry, move up the archers. Oh damn, I'm just thinking we might not even win this because we have such so few units. We would have been better off um, auto-resolving, maybe. But, you know, sometimes you just gotta risk these things. Oh, damn, that sounds like something was almost down. And where are you? You're over there. Hmm. Ham, 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 ham. We are through the enemy's walls. Awesome. Let's send in the ranged cavalry and see if they are actually moving back. Didn't anticipate that. All right. And where are you going now? We have taken the walls. It is time we captured this place. Back to the square. Okay. You move up. And what are you doing? Let's have them just shoot as much as possible first, shall we? And the uh, cavalry, I'd rather have tried to like don't think they will be able to perform any charges. It would be on if they could do some damage. Oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> well, some archers just don't want to survive, you know? There we go. How's it going for you, my friends? And nope. Looks like you're about to do something stupid, and you as well. And you as well. Good. Now start pulling back let's see what they start doing now if they start pulling back to the square that would be swell okay start going in let's get you to Take the square, and hopefully that will have them uh, running back. If so, that would be amazing. And you are getting shot by the towers, obviously, because you're so gosh darn close Our to them. Have taken control there of we the go. City. Now, oh no, what are you doing? Man. Feels like I've told you I want you over here. You stop shooting, please. And please, what are you doing? Are you making me cry, you absolute dipshits? How difficult is it to go there? Okay, absolutely no freaking will to live. I respect that. I don't like it, but I guess I respect it. So, if you want to die, I will help you die. That's, you know, me, I'm a giver. Cool, that's a captain dead. You get in there and now just absolutely grind it out. Fight it out, bitch. There, now, can you run past? Great. Maybe get some charges in the back. Cool. Like That's enough. End battle. We lost a lot. 41 out of the Dragon Riders because they wanted to die. 31 Rovarian Riders because they wanted to die. 42 Balkhold Spearmen because they were balls. Great stuff. Bur Marlinge is ours. That's one more daily settlement. I need to make sure that I don't accidentally trigger a Doomstack before I'm emotionally and mentally ready for it.
That's a cool picture. Dwarves look so badass. Bur Marlinge, and that should be another region that we no longer blockade. Mm -hmm. They don't like us, so let's sack the settlement. And repair the gates. We can't retrain anything. And lower the tax rate, though. That's one way to buy their affection. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. What do I need here now? Orders. We How are spreading serve? ourselves Orders. out too thin, I think. We march. A most honorable victory. We're still making These money, just barely. Ours. But, I mean, yeah, we're still making a whole shit ton of money. An you can't sir. attack there. My ears are and involved. any second it feels like my uh, delu illu Orders. delusion of grandeur is going to bite me in the behind. Orders. You join up with them? Combined yes, you can. Fits. I'm thinking. Okay, drop Moving this army sword. here. How may I serve? We're going to do it like that, actually. So now we have two stacks on this northern side. And I need you to... You can start moving towards Kirigathal, actually. And your assignment, my friend, is to sail back down south and recruit more troops. You will get into the fort. You just sneak a peek up ahead. You do have... A Dalian general here, not a family member, but a general nonetheless. It will be and you honor. can attack me serve? there if you'd you like will. to. Hmm. Humph, 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 humph. Orders. And you can attack Dale board. right now. So I'm thinking that we just might as well. Now they only have one group of three groups of Western defenders, and they will have a whole bunch of towers shooting us to shit. But, you know, I guess those battles are fun to watch as well. I hope so, at least. Otherwise, I'm doing this all for nothing. Just got nervous. I just uh, remembered Eskaroth. Yeah, and this is what this settlement is going to look like. Come on. Okay, might as well. At dusk, it seems. They only have one... They won't get any reinforcements. They have one point of entry there. And one point of entry here. That is a freaking long way to go. Oh, so this is gonna be one of those ones? You don't have a gate there. Okay, this is gonna be an absolute shit fest of a battle. I hope you enjoy those. Okay. Put you right there. And then I don't think that I want you on that ram, but rather these units. And now all of the melee ones. Get into line. I don't like it that the cell swords got the captain. I really would have liked... Um, to have them first through the breach. And we have crossbows. Which is great. We also have quite a few archers. And then we have some javelin throwers. I mean, we have an army. That's for sure. But the thing is, they have power. Oh, oh yeah. Towers. 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 This is going to suck balls. Oh, damn, are they gonna put this one on fire? They very well might. 0% so far. 4. 6. Okay, I don't think they're gonna put it on. They're gonna get it on fire. 16, 18. But remember that, I mean, Pivoteer Axemen are gonna be. They are going to just form shield walls with their Western defenders. And then it's all going to absolutely suck balls. Come on, and the now you're safe. Is in place. It will not be long before our enemy's defenses okay. fall. Okay, let's just chill a little bit. 30%. You start moving up. You start moving up. And you start moving up. And then I think I'll just send them, like, gradually.
And our archers are absolutely pointless here. I really should have just had a... Sh I was gonna say an F-ton, but a shit-ton of... Um, oh no, what are you doing? No! Oh, come on! What are you doing? Okay, now go back to do your job, please. God dang. And we have armies or soldiers on their way. We are going to lose. I'm betting 75% of my army is going to die. Especially if the ram is going to bug out. What are you doing? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Get in there. Okay. This is what the entire battle is going to look like, basically. Oh, we actually got through quite, uh, quite a bit. But we're also going to lose a significant amount of units. So I will just fill up with... First of all, I guess the Daditai Warriors, or the Balkal Spearmen actually. First the Spearmen, the Warriors, and you can drop that. And then uh, eventually I'll just start sending whatever, I suppose. But so far it's going alright. We lost 6%, we killed 6. 7. But, I mean, the Westron Defenders are so good at defending. So good at defending. Can we blow a horn? Get them inspired. And now it's just a big freaking slog fest. I want this path cleared. Looks like we have a lot of our units there for now. Let's send you in to focus the Dale Cavalry. And then I would like to get, see if I can have, um, if I can get crossbows up on the wall. That would be absolutely swell. And good that they are starting to hesitate. We've lost 11% to 17. And now the towers are starting to shoot. And they are shooting at the Datatai warriors, which is, I'm actually okay with them. Dying, they've done what they're supposed to do. Look at this, all the ballista bolts just absolutely hurling down on my troops, killing them. Oh my goshness. Losing so many before we even reach the gates. But now, you should be somewhat safe. Look at this, just an absolute brawl fest up here. And damn. Also realized we've, uh, we're losing, we've lost a lot of our infantry. Please, get up here. Don't know why you're standing still. Because we've lost this part, haven't we? No, we haven't. We actually haven't, so we should be able to get up there. Stop firing at will. Stop using free will. And just get up here. If we can get a hundred crossbows up here, then that is um, that is good. And hopefully they'll be able to get a whole bunch of bolts off before all of them die. And then you can start firing at wheel. Oh come on, get up here first, you absolute idiots. Let's see, we lost 20, killed 30. Come on. Oh, and they will get absolutely shot to pieces. we captured this place. I mean There we go. Get into that position and then start firing at will. Maybe like at the Rovarian Gadrots or something. I mean if they can get a volley off before all of them are dead. That's good times. They aren't shooting. They are not shooting. So 
Well, that was a complete waste. Went up on the wall, died running down the wall. But hopefully they'll be able to get some really good shots off from here at least. Some of them are getting through. There we go. Please. Oh, you could be so useful if you weren't so fucking stupid. There we go. Now start shooting at the Rovarian Gadrots. Please start getting shots off. Please, I'm begging you. Please, can you start shooting? Okay, now they started. Please. Finally! Can you get over here as well? And our infantry is starting to die. <laughs> Only half the enemy force remains. We must pray they lose their will to fight. Let's see if we can get you over here as well okay we have lost 37 percent of their 54 but so many of our troops are archers which is very important to remember and also of course cavalry now we're starting to get shots off that's so great just look at this Bringing them down. Gonna run over here for this from the start. But all of our infantry is basically toast. So let's send in the uh, cell swords. Because we are losing ground here. Okay. In UK, you broke, that's okay. You actually go into melee. I know you're absolutely horrible at it, but we just need more bodies. And the crossbows are actually starting to do pretty alright. Let's see how many archers we might be able to get through here. The cell swords are on their way. Most likely the captain is going to die, but that just has to be alright, I suppose. Because we need some real brawn here. There we go. Just keep shooting at the Rovarian Gadrots now, maybe. There we go. They are getting kills off. And now with the cell swords. Hopefully we should turn well this. Okay, see this that's great. Heart. Let's see if we can get you back to the square where it looks like they most likely have their paladins, right? Run you up here. How's it going down here? How's it going? Units are getting through at least. So that's good. We just need to like get those towers to stop shooting. We are not halfway through time-wise yet, so that's good. There we go, and now you are through. Run up here. How's it going for you run over there? You run up here as well. This is great. A lot of them actually seem to have come through. Okay, how are... Oh, damn, Royal Guardsmen. All right. Well, that's what we got going. Just start shooting as soon as you can, please. I uh, get them mixed up with the High Paladins. But okay, 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 okay. Now, what do we have... Do we have anything more? Just keep sending blobs in here. I mean, it's Dale. It has to be a pretty awesome battle. There we go. 
now you shouldn't be active anymore. <laughs> Please. Great. So now all the archers just uh, run up and start shooting at the general. And then my captain is still alive. Oh, captain, my captain. That's great. So many casualties. 54. I said 70, right? We still have a couple casualties left to take. Uh, privateers. Let's send all the cavalry in. And I don't think these archers are actually doing any damage at all. Unit routes. Yeah, that's just some of our basic stuff. Okay. Okay, what was that plan? Put you there. And then you will start shooting at the Royal Guardsmen, which are who are starting to drop now actually. All of you. Now we can stand right here. Oh damn. That might have been a bit stupid. There we go. Now you can run into that side. You can run in here. You run over here. And then we'll just unload in the back of these guys. I think that would be a good plan. Still have quite a lot of time left. There we go. Right into the backs. 26, 21, wow, every volley is absolutely butchering their units. Killing a lot of ours as well, but we have reserves, as Edward the Longshanks said. 9, 8. Maybe we can start sending in our uh, our captain soon, but we, we have enough time. We don't need to uh, waste those lives, we can waste tier 1 archers' lives. Come on. Okay, you stop shooting. Oh, and you should come up here as well. Both of you should come up. There we go. And where is he? Oh, cool. Oh, Daritai Hunters killed the general. Let's see. 51. Come on. 19%. Go, but my infantry, my melee infantry, is absolute shambles. We healed a couple of hundred, like 150 something, maybe. Nah, yeah, a little more than that. But look at that, we lost so many units. All of our melee infantry is basically just dead. Cool beans, though. Dale is ours. Beautiful stuff. Now we just need to make sure this shit is defended as well, which is. Not as simple. Now I'm thinking if I can take Garrison from Esgaroth and put it in Dale. I wonder, I wonder. And also... Okay, cool. There we go. Get in there. They most likely hate us. And we don't have a general. To exterminate the populace. And decrease the taxes. And just give a good old merge. Now, put you into Dale as well. I don't really know which territory has Esgaroth. They might have to walk through Dale to get to Esgaroth. I'm putting a lot of my eggs in that basket. A lot of eggs. There we go. Do we have... Yeah, we can get some... Rovarian units to bring back. Good. Now... Dark Sanctuary will be very high up on the docket. And also, enemy army routes, resistance is futile. And also, getting yes, um, reinforcements Orders. over there will be of Call utmost importance. And Orders. it would be go a lot quicker if you use boats. Boats, boats, boats. I'm just thinking, from where? We have unloaded so many troops on all the other... Uh, territories right now. And when we take Buri Auj, then we are getting dangerously close to triggering a Doomstack. How may I, serve? I think what would make everything clear up a little bit 
There we go. If we take you out. Okay, then they are still happy. That's awesome. So, you need to start moving north, please. Please. And you move north as well. I think it uh, makes most sense. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice just went AWOL. Makes the most sense to just take get anyone to the cities on the um, by the river so we can use boats instead of just walking. Orders. Doing it Frodo and Zam style. Orders. And you Our can go down here and then we should start to uh, load troops onto those boats as well. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. You have nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. And the Rovarian whatevers. How may I serve? Okay, end the turn. See whatever hell bites us in the tushy. Kingdom of Dale is doing some stuff. And I don't think we can beat them actually. We withdraw if they attack us again. Which they will, then I'll just auto-resolve it. Actually. Clear defeat. Oh damn. They fight like a cornered snake. Pull back. They fight like a cornered snake. Although I don't think they will be able to uh, help Bur Bur Alj. If that was the only thing they wanted to um, accomplish in this turn. Baggage train lost. Bade, bade. Bride presented. Yes, please. Merchants Guild. Sure. Or thank flourishes. That's awesome. Way to go. Angmar's might. Awesome. Great to hear. Love it. One ring has been located uh, by a general in Mythlanda. That's not great. The High Elves have it. Which we can see right here, of course. Righto, righto. You keep marching north. You get into that fort. Right, how's it going over here, guys? And we, train, we can retrain you, so we shall. Start with the Dark Sanctuary, which is great, and you soon have you soon have the Militia Garrison, which is also just swell. After the Master Mason's Hall, we'll be able to start getting the trade going here like absolutely crazy. Crazy. Okay, there we have the Doomstack. Yes, noble master. Play Siege. We close for uh, Ram, some ladders. All that, all this can be done in one turn. So maintain the, the siege because you strike, won't be able to reach to us. Yeah, buddy. So in one turn, I we'll be able to wipe to out the Winion, which is awesome. We rest you keep walking. Let's read some messages. Uh, some green, some red. We started off with 13.3k, but I think we plowed a lot of that into construction and only reconstruction, most likely. Retinue expansions, uh, Loki around Rukar, the Inquisitor, I think that's, yeah, our faction leader who still gets a whole bunch of retinues without really doing anything. And in Karvarad we can recruit some tier 1s. And I don't think we will, not from Karvarad. Oh, look at all these constructions, so most likely now we've started a whole bunch of constructions as well. Meeting hall, after that you'll go with a leather tanner, please. And then we have Bur Ermalanriki's Leather Tanner. Uh, let's uh, not get anything there for now. I want to see if there's anything closer to the border. Tant Anui, you're starting the Mason's Guild House. Not gonna interrupt that. Mataram, you got the practice range. I'm thinking, is, is this really the best place to put my resources right now? I don't think so. I don't think so. However, with the Warlord's Hall, then we, will able, then we will be able to start making, like, better stuff. But I do not think that I want to put... Okay, maybe. Just maybe. And the Blacksmith, so maybe we can start getting, like, some decent armor or some shit down there. Mistran, you got the Guard Barracks. Oh, yes. Good units. Good units. Good units. So we'll train them, and just like that, we're broke again. Awesome. Recruitments. Oh, this is depressing. Only some retrained. Esgaroth and Vintirion Eor. Mm-hmm. Okay. Not, not perfect. Not great. But now we have an army-ish. We really don't. 
How may I serve? But it still Order. would be a lot of fun to take these eight units and try to march on the dwarves. I'm honored to serve. This will be an honor there we go. Oh, really? Really Your looked like you could reach them there. Too bad, too bad. We okay, we are saving up saving up these this place. Rubar is don't like the look I'll of this but i'll see where uh, if I'll this army disappears somewhere here then i know that rhubar most likely is on the shopping block next marriage celebration seaward and war declared done lendings are at war with the clans of Endwyth. i thought you guys were bros so weird so so weird now i'm thinking Push on to Dale, or yeah, I'm pushing for Kitty Gathel for sure. That's such a big dwarven settlement. Would be nice to have a general here, <laughs> but no, that's not what we do. Dark Sanctuary when we when we can afford that. Condovan, I think you're already building stuff. Great beans. Noble one. Okay, so you're moving. Uh, you are moving into Ilanin. You're free upkeep there. Orders. So, what do I want to do with these ships? I don't have anything to collect the Karasant. And I think these armies are pretty useful to have here now that Erebor decides to be assholes. So, Ilanin, you get in the boat. And you get in the boat. Now we can't move much further, but I want to push these units over to the northern side. How may I serve? And I need you to get over there as well. We rest here until you are moving and How you are serve? sieging like a good boy. How many do you have left? King Brand. All right, they have a faction leader here. 1.3k, a whole bunch of cavalry, some elves, a whole bunch of northmen. Hmm, I still want to keep sieging though. And Dale, a whole bunch of devastation is really uh, butchering the economy here. And they might start getting pissy soon as well. Distance to capital, 35. This is of course the capital, Mistrand. So let's see what happens if we move it, just move it to Karasant instead. Oops. And now I'm in the red, but that's okay. Are you happier now? Yes, 115. That's better. And I think we are ready to move on to the next turn. We don't have any money. We don't have any movement points. I'm scared of you. But you are moving. You are moving. And we have taken Dale. So many units here that needs to be retrained. So many units. So little money. We don't have cash for all that. Oh, damn. Okay. Woodland of Erebor is trying to bribe Eskaroth, most likely. I don't think they want an alliance. But this is really like a pinprick to the very heart of the Dale faction, although it looks like Erebor is uh, sending a whole bunch of units as well. I think that's Gimli with the stars close to the Erebor Orders. border. We march. Okay, so now that army disappeared, which most likely means Don't that they're coming here. Yes. Which I'm not a fan of, of course. Will, you Start moving towards Rubar. I think this is good enough. You I mean stop moving backwards. Jesus Christ. Okay, so there they have laborers, infantry, Maddox, and a ballista. The ballista, of course, will be uh, top priority to kill. Because uh, the dwarven ballistas are red. Ridiculously accurate. Fortunately, they don't have any ranged units, but they still have a shit ton of armor. Start the deployment, and what is up with all of these forests? Not a fan. Not a fan. Okay, we have territory over here. We'll not get the same kind of height advantage. 
high ground advantage, whatever. And cavalry there, general in the back. Let's start this shit. Okay. On the hill. Group you up. And then move you up here. And the cavalry, I want to see what kind of sneaky charges we might be able to get off on their ballistas. But most likely they are far too... Yeah, of course they don't just leave it in the open, do they? Nope. But now they kind of left it behind. So keep running. Neither of you on skirmish mode. But all of you on fire at will though. Cavalry, how's it going for you guys? There we go. Charge. And hopefully we'll be able to get rid of these um, of the engineers on the ballistas. There we go. What is it this looks like here? It looks like we're really starting to run into them. Melee. No, you. There we go. And missile units. Stop. Fire at will. How's it going here? Oh, we actually got to uh, hurt them or attack them unchallenged. 24. Four fights with horns made of clay. We are winning the battle. Come on. Oh, they actually pulled back. Let us kill their uh, ballista crew. That's awesome. Very grateful for that. And also a whole shit ton of archers uh, of arrows to start just raining down on their units right now in the best of worlds. There we go. Ballistas, four units, and they just leave them behind. So mean. Okay. 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 This is not looking great. I want you. Okay, we are really shooting the shit out of them though. But we haven't killed that many because uh, dwarves, strong and stuff. But at least everyone's shooting, it seems. Now, start charging in. Where are you? There we go. All of the infantry just charge in and... Missile units. Actually, all missile units stop firing at will and pull back just a little bit. Just a smidge. Because I want you to start shooting at the Maddoxes. We're still hanging out in the back. Great stuff. You... Okay, we are all just involved right now, aren't we? You run up to the sides. We're all heavily invested. But remember, dwarves, strong stuff. And, oh, damn, are you routing? Oh, yeah. Uh, we are also running, getting butchered by their Maddoxes. can't believe you actually... Edibot infantry just um, broke. Never thought I'd see that. Only half the enemy force remains. But they we've lost. Play, yeah, we lost four percent. I really thought we lo we'd lose more than that. Come on! If they already broke-ish, then one charge should really send them over the edge. Doesn't look like we were that lucky though. Run down here. And what do we got? Broken. Run, please. You run back. And you can charge the Iron Hill Maddoxes in a Zavak. There we go. Just one charge. 
and then we start uh, pulling away to leave our crossbows to uh, do most of the heavy lifting on that unit. But freaking Erebor infantry keeps attacking us. You attack them, please. And you start pulling back. You can get a charge off, I think. There we go. Now they are moving back. So now we can start shooting at the managers. And they're broken as well. That's beautiful. Beautiful. What are you doing? Maybe get a charge off at the Maddoxes. I think that's the... I mean, they are, have died to the last man, or last dwarf, rather. Very, very impressive. With that kind of uh, discipline and morale. Oh, noise. And now... They should break, theoretically. Doesn't look like they plan to, though. Beautiful. There we go. 96% lost 5%. I thought we were going to lose a lot more. 14 crossbowmen. 16 riders. 21 dragon riders. 28 dragon guard. 22 dark type warriors. Yeah, MVP. Out of a lot of dragon riders. Doing a lot of good charges. And we healed. Fuck all, basically. But we've killed a couple of dwarves. And that's good for us, because they declared war on us. So they deserve every last bit of what's coming to them. Man, I also feel like snacks, but it's so expensive buying that nowadays. Like one tube of chips, potato chips for like three dollars or whatever you say. At least like 30 something uh, Swedish crowns. Execute. And of course that uh, fourth would be nice to have merge up some units and then i think we should start moving on this settlement because if we take that then our faction leader is safe in rubar hmm. you will be ready in one turn and you will be ready in one turn so if we are attacked then we will have some more units at least at least great End of turn report, made some money. Faction announcements, we breed like crazy, retinue expansions. Uh, jeweled amulet, acumen, public happiness, and troop morale. Awesome. Construction reports, start at the bottom, as Esgaroth. Shit happens over here, Master Mason's Hall. But now, at least, if we get attacked, we will have some more uh, units in the garrison. And you are starting with the Sanctuary. I'm thinking Militia Garrison here as well, actually. Because it feels like Erebor is not going to let this go. So let's queue that up. If we can hold it for four turns, I guess that's good. Because we don't have the we don't have the culture to start recruiting troops. A lot of corruption because it's so far away from the capital. So I think a militia, militia garrison would help. Most likely it's a dumb idea, but you know. I'm just playing by ear right now. And we can't get any fun stuff. Now you can go into Dale. Oh, you can't go into Dale. So you can go into Eskaroth instead. And so can you. Because Dale is full right now. Let's move some of our really beaten troops into Eskaroth. Like you as well. You and then let's see what we can move back. Let's see. I have room for four units. That's one, two, three, four basic mats. But we are leaving Esgaro really vulnerable right now, which I'm not a big fan of. Let's retrain what we can. And just be happy that we got the um Oh recruitment report. I thought it was just like enemy army routes. And be happy that we uh, got the garrison built there. Order. You actually start we moving march. to Eskaroth. And all of you oh, can sir. also start oh, moving to Eskaroth. Because march. I think we can just merge up a whole bunch of stuff order. over there. Order. You, Eskaroth. You, boats, boats, boats. We moved. 
You already have some units, but I would like so many more. So maybe we should start recruiting some stuff here along the riverside. Sant Anui, I think you can also get some pretty decent units. Like this. And now, are we building everywhere? That's the million dollar questions. Alligator, nope, you're not building there. So maybe we should start building something. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I want something that makes me money. Can't get any of that here. I still don't know what the way station does. So I'm a bit hesitant to that building. And Neburka, you're not building anything because you can't build anything. So we got that going. Uh, Pur Hermanarikis, right. Leather worker, just some basic shit stuff. Sure. Carvarad, uh, communal farming, I think would be a good idea here. And we can get some basic troops there as well to send north, actually. And in Mornedal, Mornedal we will be getting a. Ooh, chicken farming, maybe. Communal farming. Get some more money, but then eventually we can upgrade that, hopefully. Right, 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 right. Uh, the doom stack is nearing. We do have everything we need we to attack this settlement. Honorably. But that's Awaiting another story, because now we need to wrap this up for today. I just want to make sure that I have used all of the moves, and then we can start the next episode with... Um, with wiping out Darwinian. Orders. You How may I get on the boat. Orders. And How you can start? get on the boat as well. And we can't really recruit a whole bunch of stuff. Let's queue up a ship right here to increase the trading. I think that would be just swell. So, there we go. Starting to get some more units in there as well. Maybe I should queue up some more units here. We have those guys. More spears. Okay. Just getting crazy with it right now. We'll start so many recruitments. But then all of those guys will be put onto this boat. And used... Uh, and we will sail them, them all north. So, let's break down the episode. What has actually happened here? We have fought at Dale and taken that one. We have fought a couple of small battles. Orders. You will keep moving towards Kirigathol. We are really going on the offensive against the dwarves, but they freaking deserve it, assholes. How may I serve? Um, so, we are moving one full stack to Skarn. And one almost full stack to Kiri Gathel. It doesn't have a general though. Too bad, too bad. Because we need like all of them to just keep public order. And this is risky business. Risky, risky business. But I want and want and want. I need to send more reinforcements towards Eskaroth and Dale because Erebor is right on the doorstep. So thank you so much for watching if you watched it this far. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you have any tips, we are uh, actually starting to do pretty well for ourselves right now. But if you feel like there's something I've missed, like I said, this episode will be published in a few days on the 5th of April. So please, uh, anyway, write them down in the comments below. Now, have a great day. Take care and I will see you in the next episode. Oh.